Uh, welcome back. Um, uh, let's look what is uh, um, bug propagation training and how, how does it work. So bug propagation is a supervised error propagation training algorithm. The mechanism of backward error transmission, which is the delta learning rule, is used to modify the synaptic weights of the internal hidden and output layers. So basically you have an error function which generates or initially generated from the difference between the desired output and the actual output, or the actual output which is produced by the network when it receives a certain input pattern. And then this error is fed back uh, and then used to modify the, uh, the weights. So it can implement arbitrarily complex output mappings or decision surfaces to se separate pattern classes. So most of the K or sometimes in complex situation, it is uh, uh, very or almost impossible to uh, explicitly derive the mappings and the discovery of the relationship, for example, in the lay case of a regression or a, a classification. So it's impossible to solve it but then with the back propagation, it is possible. Produce surprising results and is able to generalize. So let's look at um, the architecture of the back propagation of a back propagation network. So uh, this was again introduced in 1986 by Hinton and uh, Rumor Hart. So you have an input pattern. So you have here again, uh, your input pattern, your hidden layer and output layer. For simplicity, we consider only one hidden layer. And so the flow, your input uh, pattern flows to this input. So again, this input uh, layer, these input nodes don't, do not perform any computation. <coughs> Excuse me, they just uh, transmit the signal to the hidden uh, uh, nodes. So you have this hidden perceptron, which receives an input from this, from this, from this. So that's the hidden layer. And then it again propagates it in a feed forward manner. Now with the back propagation, so you compute the error between the desired output and whatever output or actual output is produced by this input pattern. And this error is fed back, okay? And it is used to adjust these weights, the weights between the, uh, you know, at the input of the, of the nodes. So some, uh, um, some terminology. So the training set again is a collection of input output patterns that are used to train the network. So you have some input patterns and the corresponding output pattern, which is a, so it's because it's supervised. So we, now say that this is a labeled uh, labeled uh, data set. Uh, so you have the input and the corresponding label or the corresponding ground truth. And you have then the testing set, a collection of input output patterns that are used to assess the network performance. So these are patterns which have not been seen during the training set. So they are in seen. The learning rate alpha is a scalar parameter which is similar to the step size in numerical integration. It's used to uh, adjust the rate, uh, uh, you know, used to set the rate of adjustment. Remember when we were trying to minimize that error function, so we were moving from uh, uh, along the uh, um, uh, error signal um, with a certain, uh, at a certain rate, and this rate is controlled by the learning, learning rate, alpha. So the back propagation cycle. So there is the first is you feed, feed forward of the input training pattern. So your input is fed to, from the input layer to the hidden layer to the second hidden layer to the output layer, and then the back propagation of the associated error. So you get from the difference between the desired output and the actual output. So you calculate that delta. You feed it back to the um, uh, so the second hidden layer, and then and then you also have the error is fed back to the output to the uh, first hidden layer. 
all right? And then you have the weight, you have the weight adjustment, uh, 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 the adjustment of the weights. So you first adjust the first, these weights, and then you adjust these weights, and then the last weights. Thank you.